ಉನ್ನತ್ತು ಸಹ ಬೀರ್ಯಂಕರ ವಾವಹೈ ತೇಜಸ್ವಿನಾವಧೀತಮಸ್ತು ಮಾ ವಿಷ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ ಯಸ್ಮಾಚೋ ನಿವರ್ತಂತೆ ಅಪ್ರಾಪ್ಯ ಮನಸಾ ಸಹ ಯತ್ಮೌನ ಯೋಗಿ ಪಿರ್ಗಮ್ಯ ತದ್ಭವೇತ್ಸುದ ಯಸ್ಮಾಚಾ ನಿವರ್ತಂತೆ ವಾಚೋ ಯಸ್ಮಾತ್ ನಿವರ್ತಂತೆ ತದ್ವಕ್ತು ಕೇನ ಶಕ್ಯತೆ ಪ್ರಪಂಚೋ ಯದಿ ವಕ್ತವ್ಯ ಸೋಪಿ ಶಬ್ದ ವಿವರ್ಜಿತ ತದ್ಭವೇನ್ ಮೌನ ಸತಾಂ ಸಗಜ ಸಂಜಿತ ಗಿರಾ ಮೌನ ತು ಬಾಯುಕ್ತ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮವಾದಿ ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೌನಂ ದಿಸ್ ಸೈಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೈಲೆನ್ಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಈಸ್ ಎ ಸತನ್ ಸಡನ್ ಮಿಸ್ಟೇಕ್ ಅರೌಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮೌನಂ ಸಮ್ ಮಹಾತ್ಮಸ್ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಟಾಕ್ and then people come and then go and there is no discussion there is no talk i had met a mahatma like that who was a, a kind of disciple to ramana ramana had no disciples but uh, he he was with him and then i spent some time with him you ask a question and he would be silent he would observe silence so this silence would be interpreted by people differently and when they when they come out of that each one will say one thing i had a question and i got answer <coughs> and i got this answer and one, one fellow will say i got the answer questions are different <laughs> answers each one answers and comes that 
silence perhaps brought them silence and then that silence helped them also discover some answer. Some people come also is disappointed. That also was there. They came disappointed because there was no satsang. And this was going on. And then I, I met this Yogi Ramaya. I spent some time with him. He would also be silent. So this has gained a certain mystique. And therefore answering in silence. Dikshana Murthy started this. <laughs> he is the first one. Mauna Vyakya Prakatita Para Brahma Tattvam Yuvanam Varsishtante Vasad Rishiganaihi Abhritam Brahma Nishtaihi Like this we have a a verse invoking Dakshana Murti, Mauna Vyakya Prakatita Para Brahma Tattvam Yuvanam Ityadi. The one who is a teacher to these old people, Sanakadi people, surrounding him, they are sitting as students. So, varsishtaha te ante vasinaha. They are old and they are students. And this Sanakadi, four disciples were around him, sitting around him. And he taught, his, he gained a name in Sanskrit compound. You can present the person descriptively in one, in one word. Mauna Vyakya Prakatita Para Brahma Tattvaha Tam Brahma Tattvam <laughs> Brahma Tattvam, the truth of Brahman Prakatitam, it is made open, understood By what? By Vyakhyanam, by an exposition what kind of exposition? Silence is the exposition. Maunavyakya prakatita para brahma tattvam yuvanam varsishtante vasadrishikanaihi avritam brahma nishtaihi acharyendram karakalita chinmudram anandamurtim swatmaramam Mudita Vadanam Dakshina Murti Mide. A description of Dakshina Murti as he is here. <coughs> and there are four disciples you can see around. The one who, who enjoys being himself, Swatma Ramam. Mudita Vadanam, there is a smile. Mudita Vadanam, Dakshina Murtim, Ide, the one who faces the south, because we all face the north. <laughs> we all want moksha. North is attractive. North attracts. What attracts is moksha. Nobody wants anything less. So we all face north, and the direction we face he is north and therefore he faces us. That's all. He doesn't have a preference to south. So, Dakshina Murtim Ide. I salute. 
and who has got this kind of mudra karakalita chin mudram this is brahman tat away from all of them but they are not away from this really this gives strength to them that is that is the one asanga away but still lend strength to all of them this is ahankara ego you join them this is the chin mudra tatvam asi the whole teaching is in a mudra in a hand gesture chin mudra so karakalita chin mudram karena kalitam this chin mudra chin mudra chit mudra yes yes chin mudram acharyendra macharyana mindra the one who is the source of this knowledge the lord ishwara who taught through silence para brahma tattvam tattvam se how to interpret this silence he taught in silence means what if he taught in silence then upanishad disha was upanishad will be three pages empty <laughs> keno upanishad two pages empty and brudarnika 100 pages empty what is the difference how you can call it pramana shabda is a pramana words are a pramana this is belying everything so what is silence he taught through silence that means he taught <laughs> so the words have have a limitation and these words which were gathered to form any language from our experiences and the, those are the words even if you are talking about something beyond our experiences like heaven and so on the words that are conveying about the existence of heaven and its and the bounties that are there they are all our local words <laughs> one religion praises paradise <clears throat> what is the praise of paradise the praise of paradise is only <laughs> you will have you will have a big house there you will have all these experiences there all in terms of what we know this is the paradise the paradise itself is more pleasure local pleasure is not big <coughs> there you have more pleasures and they are descriptive and the description is again from our own words ye hoga wo hoga the full there are words these words we have to use we don't have words about which we have no knowledge and they are beyond words brahman is beyond words so words come back retreat make a retreat words beat a retreat is along with mind <laughs> mind also can dare where words don't go but here mind also joined both of them came back having attempted 
to reveal Brahman to people. They could not objectify Brahman. They retreated. Then Brahman is to be revealed. So simple. We can negate with words what all we think Brahman is. Brahman is or truth is what I am. Everything is one and the same. What Ishwara is, what I am, what Brahman is. If you mistake yourself, you are mistaking Brahman because I happen to be Brahman. You need not commit mistake about Brahman. You commit mistake about yourself, you are committing mistake about Brahman. And Brahman happens to be I. I happen to be Brahman. There is no other Brahman available. And therefore, so we commit mistake, they all come back. Now what we have to do is our notions we have to negate. So when we negate our notion, all notions are negated, and then you use the word that is called lakshya. What reveals all this, words and their objects and, the ob and their meanings, what reveals? Yena idam sarvam. By what all these are revealed, which is self-existent, self-revealing, and that is Brahman. Where is the problem? <laughs> what words have, to, words have done the job and gone? That's how it is done. It's not idantaya, like this, this is Brahman, please see. It's not, it is not the jamun fruit. Somebody asked, what is jamun? Then I can produce one jamun, this is jamun. Oh, this is jamun, okay. Oh, jamun, oh. Then eat, you can eat this. Oh, it's very interesting. So interesting means I don't know what to say. <laughs> it's so interesting. In, in India, they will say very seriously interesting. Interesting means it's very good. But here, if they say interesting, understand. <laughs> the people, you know, the Indians offer to Americans, you know, they come for dinner or something. They say, you try this, you try that. How is that? Immediately, they want to know how is that. And then you have to say something. Oh, it's wonderful. Then that means you get one more laddu. <laughs> and then. <laughs> so you can't say all that. Fantastic. Oh, no. And that's interesting. <laughs> Don't go to them again. Once interesting, you get. <laughs> that's a very interesting answer. <laughs> This is Brahman. You can take it or live it. Don't worry. This is Brahman. No way. So it is not idam pratyaya vishaya. It is not an object of this. You can't relate to it as this. If it is not an object that can take that can take the word this in the sense that can be the object of this, then it should be aham. There are only two things in this world, aham idam. <laughs> I and this. So if this is not Brahman, Jagat Karanam, the cause of the entire Jagat, is not this, then it should be me. Me, I am Brahman. Me. The guilty, the hurt, poor me, if I am Brahman, <laughs> who will respect me? <laughs> Brahman means Ishwara, Jagat Karanam, you are Jagat Karanam. Me? Jagat Karanam? So did you have some? Some bang or what? <laughs> so the bang. Bang is maru, maruana. 
So, what did you have from Bal? Me, I am Jagat Karanam. Therefore, neither idam is Brahman, aham is Brahman. Then what is Brahman? That which reveals this aham, that which sustains this aham, that which is the bonal structure of this aham, and idam also, both aham idam are but one non dual Brahman self revealing, self sustaining, and sustains all of them. To say, I am, this is, that is, is Brahman, am is Brahman, you are, that are is Brahman. He is, he is, it is, this is, he is, is Brahman. She is self-revealing, self-existing. Where is the let or hindrance? There is nothing to obstruct that knowledge to take, and take place. Because you are only pointing out what is self-revealing, self-existing, words. They do their job and go away, correct? That is teaching. That is called teaching. Maunam Vyakya. <laughs> this is Maunam. Words do the job and go away. And that's, that is what it is. That meaning is you. I can use the word consciousness and point out that the meaning is you. <laughs> what will you do? Only ignorance can go. There is no, there is no object for that for the word, but still the meaning is there. That, that is how it is taught. Finally it is silence, but words do the job and go away. So this is real maunam. Yato vacho nivartante. From what the words come back, having done their job, <laughs> or not having done the job, both. <laughs> well handled, having done the job, they come away. Not come away, they disappear. Having done the job, in the meaning they fulfill themselves. And go away, this is called Lakshyartha of the Shabda. Or having not done the job, they come back. Like people saying, Atma is eternal, immortal, supreme consciousness, at once divine. Bliss. <laughs> Infinite. It suddenly remembers that word. <laughs> because he didn't say that. <laughs> Foolish. The Upanishad tells Yato Vacho Nivartante, this fellow, this fellow goes on piling up words, each one is not understood. What is eternal? Eternal is that pumpkin. Eternal immortal. Eternal is explained as immortal. Immortal is eternal. And eternal immortal supreme. Supreme limit, infinite. Consciousness, bliss. At once divine. This at once you have to put. I say, what is this at once? I don't understand. So at once divine. And that is in everybody's heart. The spark of the divine is there. And the divine spark, we should just recognize the divine spark. When you recognize the divine spark, see, I let me talk like that for some time. <laughs> so, if you recognize the divine spark, the whole life is divinized. And divinized, not divinized, divinized. The whole, the whole life becomes spiritual. And because of the spiritual, there is spiritual beatitude. And beatitude, you know, beatitude, beatitude, and spiritual. Ineffable experience. (laughs) 
This is this is the language. What do we get? People get inspired by this. So I am upset by that only. <laughs> this fellow talks all right. But people get inspired and then come and tell me, Samaji, I have listened to you, I listened to that person, and it's all one and the same, correct? Yes, yes. You want the same. You please listen. Don't come here, okay? <laughs> so I will confuse you. No viveka. <laughs> Minimum viveka. What is being said, one should have viveka. Therefore, this is real maunam. Yato vacho nivartante aprapya manasasaha. That is a real mauna. Words cannot attempt at the same time it is told. That is the mauna vyakya, lakshyartha. Having done the job, the words disappear. There is only silence. And therefore, tad bhaktum kena shakyate. And therefore, tad brahma kena bhaktum shakyate. By whom it can be expressed? in words, as an object of words. If it is not an object of single word, it is not going to be an object of many words. If it is not an object of a single word, pile up of words, so it's not going to the pile, word pile is not going to make any a difference. Because each word is a single word. One single word cannot explain, two words cannot explain, three words cannot explain. All the words are culled from the, from the domain of words, of objects and situations which we all objectify, which are nothing but Brahman. And therefore, so kena vaktum shakyate. And all right, I'm not going to talk about Brahman. Since you cannot talk about Brahman, there is only silence. Let me talk about the world at least. That also you cannot talk about. <laughs> Shirt means it doesn't exist. Shirt means it doesn't exist. Pot means it doesn't exist. Therefore, you cannot talk about Sadda Sadbya Manir Vachaniya. Categorically, you cannot talk about any one of them. When there is no categorical statement, human mind, which always moves like this pendulum, from one extreme to another. <laughs> Either it should be this or it should be that. All our arguments also against this teaching are from these pendulum people whose mind is moving like this. Either this or that. Tell me, Atma is real or unreal? I have heard this. Atma real or unreal? I say Atma is real. But then what about the unreal? That is also Atma. So how can you say? The world is real or unreal? More, more than Atma, this is the question. Whether the world is real or unreal. You tell me. Categorically say. Don't say it is neither real nor unreal. How will I understand that? This is how they argue. All Purupaksha is like this. Purupaksha means objections from different contenders. Very funny. This pot is real or unreal? How can you say it is unreal? You say pot is unreal? How can you say it is unreal? It holds water. 
You buy pot. You have to make pot. It serves a purpose. What serves a purpose must be real. Therefore, pot is real. Argument. Because he can't think. That there is no second reality. There is only that is real, which is self-existent. About which alone you can talk, really speaking. Everything else you can't talk about. Because it is self-revealing, self-existent, I can negate what you think you are. I can negate and make you see, make you be. Whereas, about the world you cannot talk about. <laughs> In terms of the reality or quality or anything. Blue means what? Blue pot. Blue means what? First you tell me. Uh, blue is a color in the spectrum. What is a spectrum? A spectrum is a spectrum of colors. What is a color? Color is an appearance. Appearance of what? Of light. So light is it's all refraction of light. No, I get more words. What is refraction? And what is fraction? You tell me. I have to ask him all these words. And then he will give me some more words. Like my seeing a dictionary when I was trying to learn English. And then I used to turn the, I, I am from a village. And I didn't know all these words. And then I just, for one word, I want the meaning. And I have got, I had, I had a dictionary. I used to see this, the search for, then I have this word I got. And then I have, I have another five words. So now I have to see these five words also. So I, they assume that these five words I know. At least one of them I would know. And none of them I know. And therefore, what I would do? And therefore, I just turn English, English dictionary. And then I turn, 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 turn. Then again, all this. And every word has got another five words. Another five words, another five words. So I come, I, feel, I close the book without being enlightened. What is the meaning of the word? <laughs> this is how we learnt. Really? Looking at the dictionary. It's all words. Nama. Therefore, nobody can say what is blue. Simple question I am. Hey, what is blue, please? You are such an eloquent person. Why don't you describe what is blue? Then you will say, it is like the, it is the color of the sky. Hey, color of the sky? Sometimes it is blue, sometimes it is something else. Which color of the sky? Which? <laughs> that's not, that's not the description of blue. You tell me what is blue. What is sweet, what is bitter, I told you. What is love? That's why many a relationship is broken because nobody can show the love. <laughs> nobody can show. And this fellow cannot also show. And he can express also. So you have to, you have to melt all the time. And therefore you don't melt. And this fellow is a macho. And so he can't, he can't melt himself. And therefore, there is non-melting and a solid, secure fellow. And therefore, he doesn't melt. But he has got love. But he doesn't come out. But nothing comes out. Nothing comes They look for some flow, overflowing love. And it's a bucket, overflowing flow. No, because there's no word to tell what it is all about. So, all right, at least you quantify love. How much you love? <laughs> this much? How much you love? Oh, I can't quantify it. This is a big, big thing. I can't quantify it. Really? <laughs> All 
meaningless words. You, you, this words do not anything. Any one thing, even table, you cannot say what is a table. What is a table? That which has four legs. Hey, cow is table. <laughs> so that, <laughs> so this, that which has four legs. <laughs> and therefore, every table has no four legs. And there, are this, there is one table here, and which has got only three legs. Was a table. Sometimes, even this, if, if you have got an adequate uh, middle portion, and you can keep the book and then clean. <laughs> so, I, I am getting there. So. <laughs> All table. Nothing you can explain. Nothing. This is what he says here. Prapancho yadi vaktavyaha. Suppose you want to talk about prapancha, the world, that also about the world, if you want to say, that has got to be said. Even sopi shabda vivarjitaha. Prapancha also is not available for your word enclosure. Verbal communication. And with all these limitations, we are able to express and communicate and make others understand different topics. That's the miracle of human mind. The learning mind always learns. The sensing person always senses. Even though sometimes wrongly, but senses. Because you are all knowledge, basically. Inhibited by ignorance. All that you require is a window to see some fact. It's amazing how communication takes place. And therefore, that is mauna. That which defies words. And that you are always that mauna, mauna swarupa. You are the swarupa of what is beyond words, beyond expression. Itiva tad bhavet tad maunam bhavet satam maunam bhavet. What kind of maunam? Sakajam maunam. Sakaj, sakaja samjitam. Is what they call Sakajam Maunam, known as Sakajam. Sakajam means not contrived, not created, not Maunam that you observe because you don't talk, but mind is shattering and you carry a slate and chalk piece to tell. Once I met one Mahatma at the train station, central station. Central Railway Station in Chennai. He asked me, he, he had two problems. One, he cannot, he won't talk. And the other, he, uh, he won't touch money. That is his vow, his commitment. It's okay, nothing wrong. But now he has to buy a ticket to Benares. <laughs> so how he will get, get the ticket? No, he won't, he has to touch the money. And he has to give to the that uh, ticket counter and tell him Benares. So both is not possible. See, look at this. So he has set up himself, and such a person should stay in Benares, and he should. <laughs> so so he, he goes to somewhere Rameshwaram or something, and comes back to Ch Chennai. And now he found the Brahmachari. This Swami before becoming a Swami. And then I was there. Some daddy giri hota hai na. And so he saw me. And he saw, he saw me. He said, Call me. Yeah. And then I went there. He can call me also. So 
I came to see him, Mahatma. I went there. Then he said he has to go to Benares. He had a some uh, paper. It was written there, Benares. So he wanted a ticket. So I thought he is asking me to buy a ticket for him, <laughs> and so I myself got some ticket from somebody else. And so, <laughs> I am the wrong person to ask. <laughs> so, so this, <laughs> so this, uh, this, this I, now he said, uh, so he, he didn't say like this, this, uh, that's Indian, still coin age, this, yeah, this is currency age, the coin age, we were in coin age at that time. And then you you flick the coin, you know, flick the coin and see whether it's a real coin or it's a counterfeit. Do like this. Then he asked me, look into his bag. He has got a bag. And there, there was, oh, I understood that. Then I picked up a bag. And then he asked me to take some money and then get Benares. So, oh, Something I put 10 rupees or 20 rupees at the time, I don't know. So, some money I, I took and then uh, I went and bought the ticket. Benares, he asked me to buy, he bought the ticket and gave it to him. Then he said, the balance money is there. <laughs> so, <laughs> he, he, he should have tipped me for what I did, so he didn't do that. <laughs> so, so, I had to put that in the bag again safely. Then I said, Namaskar. And then he blessed me. Yeah. Only with all these blessings, only I am here. Okay, I understand. <laughs> so he got the blessing. So he, he could as well go there and then say, Benares. And give the money. Yeah, you can take the money, you can just say, so with a piece of paper, you hold the money, don't touch. So, there is always a method of going around all this. You make a commitment and then go around the commitment. <laughs> and so, this kind of uh, maunam, this is a, another type of maunam. That maunam is will-based maunam. This is sakajam maunam. He is not belittling that maunam. Please understand. That maunam is a discipline. From that maunam, he tells this maunam. You need not observe. This is your nature, surupa. This is real maunam. It is through the discipline, the word that points out a discipline, you tell the truth. What is to be achieved? That's all. And so any, any discipline, so it will lead to what is to be achieved. It will lead to what is to be achieved. Now that is, that is generally referred by another word. Now he uses the same word for that achievement also. So this maunam is a sadhana. This is sadhya itself. You contemplate upon that sadhya. Gira maunam tu balanam prayuktam brahmavadi bihi. So the gira maunam, in terms of words maunam, not speaking, that is another maunam, not speaking. So you have to, you have to decide not to speak. This is according to some, some con contentions, certain people, this is a, some kind of a, yeah, an action it is, some kind of will is used. 
against speaking. The natural tendency to speak is curbed by a sankalpa. It is, this is what uh, people say. So, anyway, this gira maunam tu balanam prayuktam it is meant for meant for for people bala children children means children in the pursuit of this knowledge the apprentices in the pursuit of knowledge so they for them it is given by people 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 who know the veda and therefore it is advised for them only for the balanam prayuktam then in the in the in the shastra upanishad also we see this in the gita you see suchau deshe pratishtapya sthiramasana matmanaha natuchitam nati nicham chailajina kushottaram like this some advice is given desha and kala vijana pradeshe a place which is not frequented by people so that means a pradesha a place which is quiet this is the romanticism of all people very quiet a solitary place i seek solitude people seek solitude is romanticism in the himalayas a deep they have got birds for all this in the deep recesses of the himalayas himalayan mountains and a cave i want to sit there nobody is there this fellow is janda dalta hai so this fellow will put up a huge like you know the best western <laughs> and like that this fellow will put up a flag and on the road road is on the top and there they should be able to see this this flag this guru of flag this flag so that means they know that there is a swami there they will come and see my atma darshan kare so he sits there in solitude inviting and beckoning people aaji ye aaji ye aaji ye yeah this because the solitude makes you crazy it's all romanticism a quiet place <laughs> this is a this a quiet place is necessary because you want something that's inspiring and that's the place for this kind of contemplation yagnyavalkya takes permission whether he takes permission he tells his wife maitrey i am going now leaving all this i have divided the property between you two people there are two wives katyayana in you and i am going to live a contemplative life why not you don't you contemplate here you don't when you people are here is very difficult to contemplate and here and another thing and the, and the cattle is there everything is there so he was a very rich man yagya valkya very rich person thousands of cattle and pasture lands given all and out to him given gift as a gift given to him and as awards one also so this ajjavalkya was very rich divided the property into two halves gave 
both to these people, to these two, two wives, and then he is taking leave of Maitreyi. He might have told already Katyayani, or he was to tell Katyayani later, but the conversation is between him and Maitreyi. He goes. For what he goes? A Vijana Pradesha, a place where <laughs> So nobody will disturb him for living a life of contemplation, nididhyasanam. So contemplate the vastu as maunam, as silence. Contemplate the vastu differently now. You go to a place, desha, for meditation. Now he points out, you meditate upon desha, place, vijana place, beautiful place, nothing, no disturbance, the place which is the very meaning of quietude. You can go there, clean, serene. What is that? You need not go anywhere. <laughs> you need not go anywhere. What is that? He says, adavante cha madde cha. Jano yasminna vidyate Yenidam satatam yaptam Sadesho vijanas murtaha Vijana Vijana Pradesha Where there is no Jana, there are no people unfrequented by people. That is called place, vijana, quiet place. He says, Adavante cha madhye cha jano yasmin na vidyate. Yasmin deshe, in which place janaha na vidyate. Collective noun. So, people, the means jana, no person is there. Navidyate. Doesn't exist. No one exists. People do not exist. Where? Okay. Oh, they all vacated? Did they all vacate? If they vacated, there will be a lot of leftovers. See, when the people live, there will be some cleanly, cleanliness because they are living. When they are leaving, they leave everything. Whatever is to be taken, they take away. And everything else is left and therefore rats and, and all other bandy goods. And they are there. It is, it is a, the, for, the place for raccoons. Raccoons? Yeah, place for raccoons. Raccoons and also our skunks. <laughs> and therefore, Adau Navidyate. He says, No, no, it's not like that. Never there was a person. Never there was a person. From the beginning of the cycle of creation, never was that person. One person was not there at any time. At the end also won't be there when the whole cycle comes to end. Ante chana vidyate yasmin deshi jana. A place wherein in the beginning there was no person and never there will be a person. <laughs> where is that place? In Antarctica? So where, <laughs> where is that place? Where is that place? <laughs> You dig up Antarctica, you find bones. <laughs> and therefore, Janaha means and anyone who is born, and even dinosaur also, Navidyate, no creature, no jantu. No creature. So, what is that place? Yenidam satatam yaptam. Idam sarvam. 
so deshakalatmakam so this place this entire jagat this entire jagat place jagat in space is vyaptam is pervaded sustained yena yena atmana yena vastuna by which vastu which is atma which is one reality in that the whole thing being mithya satyam is the vastu mithya draws its existence from this satyam satyam doesn't have any connection to what is mithya satyam is satyam like clay is clay pot has connection some funny connection and clay is free that kind of desha is you contemplate yena sarvam idam tatam vyaptam sad sad desha vijana smruta <laughs> that is vijana pradesha you don't need to search you don't need to search for a place and because of which the search itself is sustained place itself is sustained space is sustained all the deva loka any loka is sustained now the concept is sustained and you go to the loka and that is sustained <laughs> you go to the loka and see that is sustained by what any loka any world any sphere and anybody's sphere also so the sphere of a rat the sphere the rat experience it is you have to be a rat to be a rat experience it is something special when the rat looks around it has it has a world of its own i used to think about what would be the world world experience of a rat it's something beautiful i used to imagine something this will, this much it will see that much it will see then i will go to an ant this ant world will be what how big will be a, a football a soccer ball so ant is crawling upon this globe this globe so is for it the globe will look like globe the football will look like football as a, a, a sphere no it'll all be flat this is how i understood this 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 earth is a globe even though we don't see we walk and therefore it is walking you know on the side it's walking for it it is a flat and small and there are different sizes of ant imagine all these spheres are sustained by one atma that is you that is the place contemplate atma vijanaha including the local one <laughs> the local one is you okay <laughs> what is referred, referred by ahankara even that is pervaded by this one that is vijana so contemplate atma as vijana ha is a contemplation ओम पूर्णमद पूर्णमद पूर्णा पूर्णमुदुच्य हरि ओम श्री गुरुभ्यो नम हरि ओम